Hi, I'm Dr. Jim Fazone. I'm principal of the Mercer County Technical School SIPEC Center. I'm here with Gary Matia. He's principal of the Mercer County Technical School's Assaping Center. And as always, our producer and director, Nick Stokowski, is with us. Today's show is going to involve information that we're going to be giving to you concerning our return to hybrid learning on April 19th, 2021. And you can refer to the memos that were sent out from myself and Mr. Matea, and that memo was March 18th, uh, and also from our superintendent, Dr. Schneider, on March 19th. For right now, we're going to be talking about the memo that's dated March 18th, and Nick, can uh, our viewers go to the uh, website to see these uh, as well as, I know they were emailed, but they can go to the website as well, correct? Yes, they're on our website. You can see that from the yellow text at the top of the homepage. Uh, it says, please click here for more to see more information. It's also on all of our social media. Uh, it was emailed to all parents and students uh, and guardians. And it, is, will, it will also be in the link in the description below this video as well. Okay, so I'm going to talk right now about the Academy instructional schedule uh, that's listed on the March 18th, 2021 memo. Uh, the times uh, are listed and we will be in person uh, from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m., uh, and then the other time you need to worry about with lunch would be from 12 to 1, uh, and then remote uh, would be from 1 o'clock to 2.30. Again, lunch is going to be on your own. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about that. So if you look at the schedule on Monday and Tuesday, uh, we will have cohort A having in-person instruction. Now, if you're not sure what a cohort is, it's kind of like a group and you're going to be divided by alphabet into one of two cohorts. So the cohort A will meet on Monday and Tuesday. Cohort B will meet on Thursday and Friday. And we're going to be giving more information on that so that you know what cohort you're in, so that you know if you need to show up on Monday and Tuesday from 8 to 12 or on Thursday and Friday from 8 to 12. Wednesday is always going to be remote learning so that we can do some deep cleaning. Now, we also have on that same schedule... A days and B days. Well, those A days and B days are already uh, being used by all of the students uh, in the academies. What we're going to do and what we plan to do is put together a schedule so that you can see each and every day what's an A day and what's a B day. We'll try to send those out monthly. Uh, remember, on Wednesdays, it says alternating A and B. So the first week would be we're back would be an A day on Wednesday and the second week back would be a B day, but we're going to have a schedule that defines what I just said more clearly and succinctly. Uh, but for right now, you can always just look at that Academy instructional schedule on the March 18th memo. Now, what we'll do is take a look at the shared time instructional schedule. The shared time instructional schedule, uh, if you just look at the times, the AM session is from 8 AM to 1045. The PM session is from 11.45 to 2.30. Now, these shared time schedules are basically schedules that have been developed for each and every student. They are somewhat of an a la carte or personalized schedule that's been developed between the student and the homeschool counselor and our counselors here at Mercer County Technical School. So let's take a look at the schedule itself. And again, still referring to that March 18th. 2021 memo. Uh, if you look at Monday, if you're in person uh, on that day, that's when you show up. But you might be scheduled for in-person Monday and Thursday. You might be scheduled on Tuesday and Friday. Uh, those are really all going to be personalized schedules, and you're going to need to follow the schedule that you get from your guidance counselor. Uh, and if you have any questions, check with your homeschool guidance counselor and also check with uh, our guidance counselors. Now, when you see A and B day, that just refers to pullouts. So the most important thing is that you know what day that you're coming to school at our school and what days you're going to be staying home. Remember, on Wednesdays, it's going to be remote instruction for everybody because we're going to have deep cleaning on those days. Uh, I hope I've explained that well, but I will tell you this. We are going to be having some clarification memos that come out uh, and you can look at this video, refer to this video. You can refer to the memo for March 18th. And uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to give us 
a call. Uh, my phone number uh, is uh, always available, and uh, uh, so is my email. You can uh, give us a call. Mr. Matei, I think you were going to go over some of the information from the March 19th memo from the superintendent. Yeah, we're going to be asking uh, staff and students to follow some guidelines. Uh, so one of them is continuing uh, conducting daily temperature checks prior to coming to school each day. Uh, along with these daily temperature checks, the student and staff has a health questionnaire that needs to be completed before boarding the bus or coming to work. This link can be found at the top of the web page at www.mcts.edu in the green navigation bar under health forms. The staff forms can be found under staff links. And please note that anyone with a fever of 100 or higher must stay home. Contact your doctor if you have a fever or experience symptoms that are related, of course, to COVID-19. And remember, wear your mask daily. Bring in spare masks in your backpack for emergencies. It's very important that you have at least two emergency contact numbers that are available to us if you are sick as a student, and then we can call uh, the parents at home. They must have two emergency numbers that are active and working, okay? Where your child will need to be picked up within 90 minutes of our phone call. And this is important uh, so that we don't have any uh, COVID breakouts. Please remember, at all times, we'll be wearing masks. We'll be wearing masks at all times. That's very important. Not part of the time, all the time. On the bus and, not at, and, and at school, you'll need to bring in more than one mask, put it in your backpack, your briefcase, however you're doing it. Um, if you're driving, I would suggest that you keep some masks and wipes uh, in your car and put place the mask in some type of a bag. If you require medical exemption for mask wearing, then you must bring that information to me this, or Mr. Dr. Frizone and the school nurse for further instructions. Okay, very good. I do want to go over a few more items. Uh, remember that on Wednesdays, all students will receive remote learning uh, so the custodians can more deeply sanitize the building. A few uh, things we want to go over that we may not have gone over so far and some that we are uh, just reiterating. Uh, and the first item, definitely reiterating, all students and staff will be required to wear masks at all times. Students will have the temperature check before entering class. So even though you're following the first protocol that we mentioned, uh, students will also uh, get a temperature check before they enter the class. When reporting to school, students will report directly to their assigned seats in their classroom. So that means you get off the bus and you go right to your class. The only reason you're gonna stop is to get a temperature check as you're on your way in that door. Uh, social distancing for us will still remain at least six feet apart. Uh, and will always be mandatory on campus in the classrooms uh, as per the CDC guidelines. And I know there has been some discussion as to what may change, but uh, as far as us at Mercer County Technical School, uh, we are still at six feet apart uh, for our social distancing. Dividers will be used in the classrooms to maintain safety and security, according to the New Jersey Department of Education guidelines. Uh, Wednesday's that deep cleaning day, remember, so we're all going to be remote, staying home. Uh, attendance and participation are required during the remote instruction, uh, but we want you to do the best you can. We do understand uh, that we're going to be working through some transportation issues, uh, as well as some uh, issues that have to do with getting where we need to get at the right time. So we're going to be uh, observant uh, of all student needs and, and complications that may take place. Uh, when trying to be in class in a timely manner. Remote instruction will be provided when students are not in class. So anybody who's not in class uh, should turn that camera on and get uh, to the remote lessons. And further information will be provided as we receive more information from the CDC, the New Jersey Department of Education, and the Department of Health. And once again, if you have any questions, you can uh, contact uh, Mr. Mattia or myself. Uh, or any of the guidance counselors. Uh, also, stay in contact with your teachers. Uh, because we have the remote learning going on right now, uh, we do have an advantage that we can get information to the teachers. We can get it uh, back and forth to the students and the families through that remote learning. Uh, what else we have for today? Anything well, else? Well, I just wanted to say, Dr. Rizone, the students have been doing a fantastic job with remote learning. And we both know 
that they're going to continue to do a fantastic job when they come back to school on April 19th and they'd come back under the guidelines that they have to wear masks and the different things that we've talked about. So I look forward to some success April 19th. It'll be exciting. It's going to be a time to, uh, you know, get back together and maybe, I guess, welcome the springtime in uh, with being on campus. I know I'm looking forward to seeing all the students and teachers and uh, getting back to uh, having a fun time on campus. And uh, we're, uh, we're, we're going to move forward. Any questions you have in the meantime, feel free to uh, give us a call. Uh, so for all of us uh, here at the principal's office, for Nick Sikowski, for Mr. Matea, from me, Jim Fazone, we will see you next week in the principal's office. Bye-bye.